100 days action plan has been announced and it has been implemented by the present Modi regime. In the 100 days action plans, seven production units of Indian Railway, Rail Coach Factory, ICF, MCF, Wheeland Axle Plan, Bangalore and uh, Patiala. At the same time, 44 workshops of Indian Railways including Golden Dock, Ponmalai Workshop and Perambur Cage Works, Perambur Loco Works, 44 workshops have been proposed to corporatize by the present government. And we, the Dakshan Railway Employees Union, are conducting various programs and uh, we have given call to the public to support us. And uh, we have recently, we conducted Dharna to withhold the policies of this government. And the government plan is not only to privatize the corporation of workshops not, uh, and the production units, and their plan is to privatize the passenger rail service and uh, freight rail services. The first passenger rail service which is to be privatized is Teja Express from Delhi to Lucknow and it is to be inaugurated on October 4, 2019 and it is the first private train was inaugurated by this present Modi government. The Delhi Mumbai, Delhi Calcutta, Delhi Chennai and Chennai Bangalore and Delhi Patna all routes are vital routes which was large passengers are travelling in the routes. It is nearly earned 53% of income through this passenger segment. These passenger segments have been privatized and there is, there is a proposal to hand over all these routes to the private owners. Thus, the passenger earnings will be reduced for the railways. And for freight, the dedicated freight corridor has been announced and the work is going on there. The entire freight uh, services will be handed over to the private owners. The entire freight operations and the passenger operation, both revenues will be go to the corporates so that the railway become loss of revenues and like the BSNL and MTNL employee, the rail railway employee will also wander or wait or suffer for their salaries, pension and everything. And corporation is the method to hand over the railway state run companies and production units workshops to the private sectors. So by, by privatizing these railways, the social justice has been denied and filling up of vacancies will be denied as per the reservation roster of AC, ST and OBCs. And uh, we oppose this not only for this job security or recruitment or other things. We oppose this because the public, the common man can't able to travel to the trains, to the trains. Because there are 160 concerts, travel concession has been there for freedom fighters, for sports persons, for uh, those going to appear the examinations. In the downtrodden for the downtrodden communities, senior citizens and a physically disabled persons and everything will be stopped if the rail services, passenger services have been privatized by this government. So that this struggle is not only for the railway employees welfare or for the only unemployed youth's job, this struggle is for the common people and to save the country and to save the nation by protecting the railway workshops, corporations, uh, production units and uh, railway open line services, it should be maintained through the government sector, not by the railway rolling stock company or any other thing. So that our struggle is going on, we request the public, the passengers and the common man to support our struggle and to stop the privatization, to raise your voice against this government's anti-labor, anti-people policies. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.